When incompetent cops let their arrogance get the best of them, they often face the consequences of their poor decisions. In this compilation, we will look at some truly baffling blunders that not only humiliated these officers, but also ended their career. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm good. What's what happened here? The tires all blown out. I ran into a fucking fire. You ran into a fire? Yeah. A fire hydrant or a fire? Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. Where's the fire hydrant? Someone back there. Back there? Yeah. Okay. Are you injured? No. I'm okay. Not hurt at all? All right. Do you have a license registration insurance on you? Yes, sir. 116 tonight. Take this one step at a time. You don't have your license on you? Or you don't know? No, it's on. Uh, it's on you? Possible. Okay. So, can you try and find it for me? Take it out of here, please. You want to step out of the car? Yeah. Yeah, we can't. I'll call Jen. Alright, walk over this way. Officer Watkins immediately noticed the odor of alcohol on him. He instructed him to come out of the vehicle. Jake's condition and behavior raised serious red flags, setting the stage for what was about to unfold. Okay. Do you have anything to drink tonight? No. Okay. No? Just uh, stay over on the shoulder just for your uh, safety. Yes, okay. Sir. Thank yep. you. Yep. Hey, Mike. One of three headquarters. We're going to need a tow for one. Okay, so obviously it looks like you've been drinking a little bit tonight. Okay. <laughs> Any other reason why you're kind of swaying around and smell like alcohol? Do I smell like alcohol? Yeah. It's not on Can you notify the proper channel? Jake's Camry had been destroyed from the side, and we could imagine the sort of impact that this would cause. It appears that the young aspiring cop was speeding while he was drunk. Soon, the officer started to conduct some field sobriety tests. Face me. I want to give you the instructions first, okay? Yeah. Before we begin, are you diabetic? No, I'm not. Okay. Any medication? Yes. What kind of medication? I'm not sure exactly what it is. Pressure. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Keep your eyes on the pen. I did. Your eyes are kind of flicking around a little bit. No worries. Just keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Despite everything, the officer had a calm and friendly attitude with the suspect. However, the young boy was about to make matters tough for himself. You're moving the run really fast, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I, I'm point. not gonna gotta, be able to, like, I'm not gonna I be able to- follow the tracking of your eyes, okay? Follow, follow the pen, okay? We're gonna hold it out here. Keep your hands out of your pockets, down at your side. Keep your hands down your side. Are we good? No, just be patient, okay. If you're gonna arrest me, just arrest me, honestly. I'm, I wanna give you a fair shot, okay? I wanna go through the tests and we're quicker determination, right? A little biggie. I didn't drink anything tonight, like. Right. If you're gonna arrest me, arrest me. Alright. Like, I don't drink alcohol. That's, that's not what I do. I'm a boxer, and I'll show you a million videos of me doing it too. Alright. So, if you, guys, if you guys aren't gonna believe me, just keep it up. Stay focused with me, okay? Again, we're gonna take this one step at a time. Even before joining the police, Jake had a sky-high sense of entitlement, and his field sobriety test performance only made things worse. It was a disaster. Yo, I know, you, you guys have no idea who I am, do you? I met you before. That's what I thought. You going to school, Jake? No. 
Well done with school. We're going in the Marines. Marines? So don't f me right now, okay? Yeah? Don't f Why are you looking at me? Yeah. Relax. I don't see her fight you. <sighs> Alright. So next test is walk and turn. We're going to start right on this white line right here. Okay. With an attitude like that, Jake is never making it into the Marine. The officer shrugged off Jake's antics and moved on to the walk and turn test, which somehow turned out even worse. Right heel now? to toe. Yeah, you can get do that right now. All right, just stay in that position while I go through the... Hold on, Jake. Hold on. One second. Just stay in this position. I can't, I can't do that. Like, that's that's naturally not what happens to me. Yeah. I can't do that. See, I'm doing it right here. You can do it. You're, you're in shape, athletic dude, right? I box. Keep, yeah, I can't keep, do that. Boxing is about balance, right? Yeah, but I can't yeah. do that. Like, that's just not something I can do. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't do that. Okay. Like, so I'm going to go through the rest of the instructions, okay? You can arrest me if you want, but I'm going to be honest. I cannot do that. You can breathalyze me if you want. Stay over the white line. All right. I'll do it one more time. If I can't do it, it's I wanna, not again, I'm going to go through the instructions, then I'll tell you when to begin. All right. Now you've got a feel for the cops who deal with people like Jake day in and day out. No sense at all. It was obvious this entitled kid was jailbound, and his pathetic performance sealed the deal. On your ninth step, you're going to keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking several small steps with the other foot. I don't well, go, I don't while walking, balance, I don't have balance like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't have balance like that. Like, I don't want to fail something that I'm not doing. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to fail. We'll give a dual college try, okay? While walking, watch Sir, I don't want to fail something that I can't do. I don't have balance like that. Yeah? You're standing pretty good. Right? Yeah, right now. Okay. You can walk in straight line, right? You walk from your car over here pretty good, right? No. I no? Didn't. Okay. So, do you want to do the test? You're going to give me DUI. Go ahead. All right. On your ninth step, you're going to keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking several small steps with the other foot. I don't well, go, I don't while walking. Balance, I don't have balance like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't have balance like that. Like, I don't want to fail something that I'm not doing. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to fail. We'll give you a dual college try, okay? While walking, watch Sir, I don't want to fail something that I can't do. I don't have balance like that. Yeah? You're standing pretty good. Right? Yeah, right now. Okay. You can walk in straight line, right? You walk from your car over here pretty good, right? No. I no? Didn't. Okay. So do you want to do the test? Give me DUI. Go ahead. The 19 year old was ready to head straight to jail, but wouldn't perform a simple walk and turn test, despite having no injuries and a fairly good body. So you don't want to do the walk and turn? Give me a breathalyzer at least. Like, why don't are, why are you not giving me a we breathalyzer? Can't, we don't do breathalyzers on the scene, okay? What do you mean? That's back at the. That's back at headquarters. All right. What are you doing, headquarters? Why are you not giving me a breathalyzer right now? We don't do that I in New Jersey. I don't. I don't need to do this if you're gonna. We don't do. We don't do to yourself that I didn't drink. We don't do breathalyzer in New Jersey. Okay. We do the alcohol test or something different. All right. Okay. So we'll do the next one. One leg stand. Keep your feet together. Hands by your side, just like so. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate, and then I'm going to. I'm going to give the instructions. I'll demonstrate and I'll tell you when to begin. Do you understand? Yes. The officer reluctantly skipped the second test and, according to protocol, went ahead with the third one. But once again, Jake acted like he was above it all, either too entitled or too drunk to think straight. Like so. When I tell you to, I want you to raise one leg, either leg, approximately six inches off the ground, foot parallel to the ground, keep your both legs straight, and keep your eyes on your elevated foot. While holding that position, count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so continue to count until told to stop. All right, so it's going to look like this. I can't do that either. Feet together, hands at your side. Pick either foot you want. Raise it up about six inches. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. See how I'm doing it? Shouldn't have a problem doing it. All right, you're going to keep counting. I'll tell you when to stop. If you put your foot down, you lose balance. Just continue you where you left off. 
tests. Okay. You guys got some tests, right? You understand? Honestly. Jake, do you understand? No, I don't. Cause like I can't do that either, and I didn't drink. Give me a breathalyzer. Ultimately, the officers were done with Jake's behavior and decided to arrest him after he tried to pass off the third test as well. You don't want to try to do the field sobriety test? I'll give it one try. Appreciate it. I want to tell you when to start, okay? All right, you may begin. I can't f down on one foot, bro. Okay, that's good. Do you want to try and walk and turn tail? No. No? Oh, uh, just face that way. Put so your hands by your back. You're on a rest for DWI, okay? Now this might be someone's worst attempt at the field sobriety test. Jake was taken to the police station where he was asked to undergo a breathalyzer test. Step in, hook a left, okay? So that's you on the bench. Okay, how's it going? Patrick, nice to meet you. Nice to come. Uh, do you have a license one? Yeah. If it's for his first offense, um, they'll suspend his license until he gets a, 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 a interlock. interlock device, and then they'll reinstate his license. So. Uh, because he was arrested for DWI, uh, we have to release uh, we have to release him to a responsible adult. Um, basically, uh, you can be held liable if he get, gets behind the wheel of another vehicle, boat, vessel, plane, whatever, motorcycle. Um, certain penalties that come with that. All right, so pretty much he's your responsibility for the 12 hours until he. Sobers up. Shockingly, Jake had a blood alcohol content of 0.22%, which was 11 times more than the legal limit of 0.02 for people under the age of 21. He was entrusted to a sober adult after being charged. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get him. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, do you want to explain to him? Or? It's up to you. Did, huh? I can get a straighter story from you. Well, basically... He was coming from somewhere, he had a fire hydrant, tore up his car. So. And did you keep driving or did you stop? He wasn't That's going not. over the, the Where's your, stop. did your car get towed? Yeah. Price right towing, I uh, left a little uh, the address and phone number right, with them. So it's them. likely totaled, right? Yeah, it's totaled. Yeah. Yeah. Front wheels are you, ripped are off. Are you okay? Yeah. Is anybody else in the car with you? No. All right. Um, I'm sure they chewed you up enough. I'll get to you in the morning. Let's just get on. You're coming home with me. I'm, you're my legal responsibility for the next 12 hours. You're going to sleep on the couch. So, all right, thank you. You're all right. Let's take care. Good night. The 19 year old was charged with operating under the influence, reckless driving, failure to maintain lane, and open container. He pled guilty to the operating under the influence charge, and as a result, he had his license suspended for four months and also had to pay fines totaling $690. While these cops made sure to hold him accountable, these next officers did an even better job by exposing this unfit officer. As a police officer, you understand it's called weapons under intox. Weapons wallet. You know, as a police officer, you know full well you cannot be intoxicated while I'm having not intoxicated. 
I've been drinking. I give you that. On July 6, 2024, a group of neighbors were celebrating the 4th of July with fireworks when an angry Miami Township police officer stormed out with his gun drawn. He threatened them with his rifle, sending everyone scrambling and ultimately forcing them to call for backup. This is going on, man. Everybody around here is fireworks. The guy right here yeah. right back there right he here came the over here raising hell cussing he's a military vet he hates fireworks it brings back mem old memories okay he's got an ar on him he pointed at us and he he, 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 he scrunched down and aimed it at us and we all took off running okay so he was well, did, he, did he come up to the yeah, he, came he came all the way up, up to the, the fence. fence and started cussing at us telling us and, and then he, and then he pointed like, the ar yes out. yeah pointed okay. on us so we me and him we we, we took off him, like crazy while we were doing the fireworks he yeah he, he got the flashlight on it out at his property yeah he was sitting it. uh okay but you look at that over. tree back there towards the building he was standing about over there shooting See, the I've got, I've got all my neighbors out yeah what we put on a good fire yeah. show yeah. every year so all, all the neighbors neighbor. watch y'all's neighbors i got all the and then um yeah, dang, this freaking radio's in my ear. The neighbors were terrified for their lives as they fled their home. The officer seemed to be leveraging his status as a military veteran to intimidate them. I mean, but, and with the military vet, I... Uh, but at the same time, you're over there shooting guns that are ten times louder than our fireworks? It, exactly. I mean, so out the solid it, was just, it was really quiet. It wasn't really loud at all. While you guys and he definitely, has a, he definitely has a flashlight, because I've seen him pointing it towards the back. And then he, I seen him down like when the fire went up and he was down like that and I got all I had to get all the kids inside this is a birthday party too the situation could have been approached a lot more civilly like hey guys look I am a veteran it is kind of you know messing with my PTSD can you guys either tone it down or is there something you guys can do I understand it I mean you know a little more silly instead of pointing at somebody with kids in the house. The officers approached Officer Jason Eater, who is visibly drunk and openly admitted to carrying a gun while intimidating innocent people. You're Mr. Eater? Yes, sir. Okay, you work for who? Miami Township. Miami Township. Can I get a trouble for you to respond? Yeah, so all I, did, I called Dakota. Okay, he's Dakota. Okay, the cops. Okay. Yep. You're yep. Top. yep. So I called him, like, hey, they're blowing this, it's all coming over the field. I've just been watching lately, like, where the fields have been catching on fire because of fireworks or whatever. So I went over and asked him. Howdy, howdy. You want to tell him, sir? I'll fill him in. Yeah. All right, so you can go ahead with me, man. So what's going on? So, what's going on? so I, just, I was just like, you know, hey, you're shooting a bunch of fireworks over the field. Let's back it down a little bit. And they're like, well, screw you. We can do them wherever we want. We're shooting them this way. The wind, the wind gods are taking them where they need to go. Yeah. Like, okay, well, when you're shooting in a ditch pointed this way, they're going to go this way. Yeah. So they're like, oh, well, who cares? Screw you. So I'm like, all right, cool. I was like, I'll call the cops. They're like, call the cops. Okay. And I walked away. That was it. Okay. Peter had the audacity to lie to his fellow officers, claiming that he never drew his gun. But little did he know they had already interviewed the neighbors affected by his behavior and had gathered multiple testimonies against the rogue cop. They're claiming, from from my from our understanding, yeah. they're claiming that you had the rifle, mm -hmm. came over there in an aggressive manner, you know, hey, you guys need to knock fireworks, I have PTSD, I'm a veteran, et cetera, et cetera. And then they said they were claiming that you took the firearm from your back and then kneeled down in the ground, kneeled, <laughs> kneeled down and then pointed the firearm in their direction. That never happened. And they, they're they claiming that you pointed the firearm in their direction. Nope, um, never happened, never even came around. It was it was an empty chamber. Okay. It was an AR with an empty chamber. Okay. It, this I just threw it on my back because it, a kitten really throw a pistol on my shorts. Okay, yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. And is your firearm... But you, like I said, you did have a firearm on you. I mean, it was Yeah, I mean, it's like, it, it, it was a tight sling to the back. It wasn't even like a patrol swing. It okay. was a swing on my, it was actually on my back. Okay. It wasn't like up here. It was a on the back swing. Peter was in deep trouble, and after knowing that he couldn't lie his way out of his situation, he had another strategy in mind. Now. All right, like I said, like I said they're claiming that, you know, they have, I mean, they have three, four witnesses saying that you took the gun off your back and then you yeah. pointed the gun in their direction. Nope. Okay. Alright, so at what time? Yeah, because actually when I was talking to Dakota, like he, he could hear him. Mm -hmm. So what time? Uh... And, and like I was telling him, I didn't get to share with you. 
I was like, hey, look, I don't care if you shoot them off, do whatever, but can you shoot them that way? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, this way, mm-hmm. the fields get dry, they catch on fire. I mean, I've yeah. seen that recently. What time did you go over there? Mm-hmm. How long ago? Probably a half hour. Maybe. Half hour ago? Yes, sir. So, like I said, that was all I asked them was they, they had them out all front, front on the road. And I'm like, hey. Can you point them that way? Mm-hmm. They're like, no, the wind guides decide where they go, not us. I'm like, well... <laughs> Why did you decide to take your firearm over there? Well, I, I, just, I always take a gun somewhere. I mean, I just didn't have... I'm wearing... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm wearing it's gym fine. shorts. I didn't have anything to put it. So it was a tight sling on the back. It wasn't It wasn't attached to the sling out front. It was like on my back. Okay. But why did you feel the need to take a firearm over there? Various okay. whatever. Okay. So I just wasn't going to go over and talk to them unarmed. Have but you ever like, so had it, contact it, with them no, before? Sir. No, sir. Not Never right. before, ever? No, sir. Not at all. Okay. But you, you still felt the need to take a firearm? Slung on my back. Right. Not, not even chambered. Right, okay. That's, that's fine and dandy. You could argue that the officer had legal grounds to carry his gun. However, he soon revealed he had over four drinks earlier, leaving him highly susceptible to making a foolish decision. How much have you had to drink tonight? A couple, uh, probably four or five. Because I can smell it on well, you. Well, I know. It's, it's a holiday. Uh, right, which is perfectly fine. And I don't but have a firearm on as, this as a, as a police officer, you understand... It's called weapons under intox. Weapons while Yeah, well, weapons while intoxicated, yes. yes. Realizing that he had made a massive blunder, Eater started to use his PTSD as an excuse for his unlawful behavior. You can't do that. So I'm just sorry, I've lost some friends, man. I've, I've lost friends. I understand, but, I was in the military he, too, I get that. I, I, I just, I've lost friends and it's hard. It's just, you know, the more it goes on, the more you hear the bang, bang, bang. It's like you watch your friends go. Okay, but I'm you sorry. understand just as well as I do that you can't do what you did. But I didn't. Right? I didn't go over there and threaten anybody. I didn't. I was Well, I'm my getting back. conflicting stories then. Put yourself in our shoes. I get it. And like I said, I get it. But like I said, it is conflicting stories. Do they have videos of me doing any of this? You even admitted to me that you walked over there with while you've been, on back. just let me speak, this while you've been drinking with a rifle on your back, going over there to towards their property, confronting really, them. We're okay. But I don't know who those people even were. Like, I've only ever seen adult people there. These were like younger kids. Whatever. No, they weren't younger kids. Now, it makes no sense for a veteran with that kind of PTSD to be in law enforcement. The sound of a gunshot is far more intense than fireworks, and it is clear he is unfit for police duty. Up here. But think about it, though. I mean, you know, if you're walking that way, if I see you in my yard, or if I see you out the, in the yard, I can't I'm see out. I'm not in the street. I'm not in the yard. I'm in the street. Okay, so you're in the street, though, but I can't see you, though. That's the thing. I, I can't see further anything out there. They don't have a flashlight chamber, or anything. Is Chambers working? Chambers? Yeah. I don't know who that is. You don't know who Chambers is? No, sir. No, he's no longer working. Because I can see it from their standpoint, you know, but... You can't see it from there. Unfortunately, no. I can't. Okay. Because, you know, they're shooting off fireworks and I get it. And it's going on for hours and hours and hours. And it is the 4th of July weekend. But, but it's coming over into my field. Okay. That I own. My field. And, but I, and, and, like, you know, and again, I, and I understand everything about that, but I'm having a hard time understanding what was the reason for the rifle. It was just... I, I, just, I don't know that. I've just I've heard from several people. I mean, I, I can. I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know that. I don't know them at all. And, and I can clearly. I mean, I don't know if you can. I can clearly hear kids over there, man. Right. And I, I don't know anybody in by. You know, and I, and I, and I get said, that. It was trapped on my back. Yeah. It, it, I wasn't going over in patrol speed, like you know, going up. It was strapped on my back. Yeah. Nothing. Not around the chamber. Yeah. Strapped on my back. I, and, and like and like Officer Meyer said, man, we're getting two conflicting stories. They're saying you pointed it at them, and they're saying that you you know went over there kind of a, you went over there in an aggressive in an aggressive manner. Moving on, these entitled cops made a fool out of themselves after arresting an innocent auditor. You have a bag of drugs between your. Butt. I do not have a bag of drugs between my butt cheeks. Yes, sir. you do. I've seen it. It's hanging on. there. Here's what's going to happen. Corporal Morrison. You're going to be given the option to reach back there and move those drugs. 
and drop that bag on the floor. If you do not, I'm move those drugs. I got a bag on the floor. I might have one clump back there. Okay. Whoa. Go, go, go. You Face forward. forward. You are getting very close to being tased. Sir. The, the bag's there. I can see it. All right, okay, sir. That's such bullshit, man. Face forward. I'm facing forward. Thank you. Continue to do so. Ultimately, Bradley agreed that he was hiding a pill and decided to comply with the cops. However, just as he was moving his hand behind, Officer John Smith did something unbelievable. Remove that baggie. Drop it to the floor. If you do anything else, I'm going to tase you. Do you understand? There's nothing there. Ah! The trigger-happy cop tased him multiple times, and to make matters worse, even punched his head twice while he was down on the ground. Bradley was devastated, wailing in pain, as he endured punishment for something he hadn't done. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I can't breathe. Sir, I'm breathe for real. Give me a shot for your face. Give me a shot for real. I got you. Where's he at? Where's he at? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Sir, I'm on my mama. Can't breathe. Sir, you quit trying to scratch me. I can't breathe. All right, bring his leg around. Can't breathe. What you think? What you think? Bradley had a 15 year arrest record that included burglary, theft, and robbery charges, but throughout his life, he had never resisted while in custody. He was even complying today and was regretting his decision when these cops mercilessly threw him to the ground. The cops couldn't remove the metal prongs from the taser, and the nurse had to extract them to relieve some pain. The officers placed his pants back on, and things were about to worsen for the inmate. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna spin anybody's face, bro. 
Yeah. If you bought him, you would be tased, do you understand? I, I haven't beaten anybody. I've been one, sir. I have not beaten anybody. Uh, 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 I can't breathe now. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, y'all. What? I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. I can't breathe, y'all. You're talking, you're fine. Yeah. I can't breathe, man. That's like, Despite posing no threat to the officers, he ended up with a spit mask on his mouth. The inmate was already having trouble breathing after being punched in the face with a chemical spray, but things were about to get worse. Yes, he did. Uh-uh. It's a lie. Yes, sir. You sure? If I did, I didn't know All right, ready to go. Roll up to your right side. Bring your knees to your chest. No, I don't fight no mice. I don't fight no mice. That's what's in the I don't fight no mice. Oh, there we go. Stand up. One, two, three. All right, get on these chairs. 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 Get I gotta get this. 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 Can't see that. Turn. Turn. I can't have a seat. Can you get some of my eyes? Oh, you can have a seat. Go ahead and restrain his feet. Okay. Please, y'all. We get some of my eyes. Yeah, please. It's after feet. None of the officers had any empathy for the inmate, who had been treated like a criminal with a gun pointing at the cops. Soon, he was being put in a restraint chair, which only seemed to be more torture. Turn his cuts off, then we'll go armed. I heard it. It's burning it bad, dog. It's supposed to, sir. I know, golly. Sir, all you gotta do is you can I will. I will from now on. That's all you gotta do, sir. Kind of. It just sucks, because I know I gotta go through withdrawals now, man. Yeah, I understand that, too, sir. And I didn't want to go through withdrawals. I understand it. I'm just gonna go away from that. Make sure it's looped around that bar. Yeah. Make sure you get the Y'all come on, uh, people, let them know what's going on. Uh, huh? Nobody hit you in your nose, sir. <sighs> can you take your mask off? I swear to God, I want to spit on y'all. If I do, you can hit me dead in my mouth. Jesus. Please take your mask off so I can breathe better. So I can breathe better. I'll decide that after you're in this safe, okay? So I can breathe better. you in here. I know, but it's making it worse. Like, the chemical, it's making it worse. Skinner. Mine did it too. The, the snot is making it worse. It's making it burn my whole face. It will burn your whole face. I know. Alright, did you get that, Baker? We gonna be do. Double up. Did you get that off, Baker? Yeah, please take your mask off, y'all. Go ahead and hand the lap band around. Hand the lap band around. This is exactly why people across the country hate these pigs. They were pretending as if they were in with some out-of-control maniac, whereas throughout, they had the situation under control and could have de-escalated it. Scoot up. Oh, okay. All right, now bend him on over. All right, right here. We're gonna remove this. When I remove this arm, Baker, take control of it and place it there, okay? I got the yeah, take my mask off, please. Keep your head down. Just take my mask off. Man, Keep your head down. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. The answer is going to be no for the time being. For how long? All right, take control of that one. I've still got this one. Let me know when that one's secure. Just put it in there. Just put it in there. 21 units, six days. We're not gonna do You done with that one? Uh, uh, Officer Campion, I'm going to take this one out. Got gotcha. you. And you're going to take uh, Keep your head down. control of this one, okay? Yeah. 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 All right, go ahead and take control of it, sir. When you're ready, Ben, it seems straight back. You want to secure this? You good? Yeah. One, two, three. Screw that in. Let's go bring it around. Oh, can you pull my mask up just a little bit so it's not stuck? Hold on, it's twisted. Oh, this one's twisted. Somebody pull it up, please, there a little bit. Please. 
Pretty please. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Stay looking forward. They're not looking anywhere else to intersect with you. After being locked up in the restraint chair, he was transported to the jail facility, where he was put in solitary confinement for 90 days. No internal investigation took place, and the cops remained free of any charges. However, in 2020, Bradley decided to sue Knox County, demanding $1 million in compensatory damages and $2.50 million in punitive damages. Next up, we have a crazy instance that led to an officer losing his job. In December 2017, Bristol police officer Phil Kiersnowski was on his routine patrol when he pulled over a car for a window tint violation. However, he soon realized he had pulled over the daughter of Senator John Lundberg, and the conversation that followed was nothing short of hilarious. Sam? No. You know how dark your window tint is? Oh, Officer McDaniel checked it last week. I swear to you, he pulled me over for it. You can check it, though. But yeah, he pulled me I, over the last week for it. It's dark as hell. Yeah, he pulled me over last week for it. But he checked it and said it was fine. I don't think it is. I swear, he pulled me over right in front of my house. On King, like near King College. Hold on one sec. Okay. Got another officer's got a little meter that he can put on it. You close to Weaver Pike and Southside. It's dark as hell. But, I, it's so but yeah, I, Mc, Officer oh, McDaniel um, checked it last week, like literally in front of my house. He pulled me over because no, he checked pulled me over in October because my tags were expired, mm -hmm. and um, he checked it then. Okay. You don't have like a medical exemption or anything like that, do you? No. The officer quickly identified the driver and instead of handing her a ticket for a clear violation, he did something shocking after he attempted to turn off his body cam. Carter's on his way here, he's got a meter. We can check it. License on you? Yeah, I do. Right, sit tight. <laughs> Officer Phil criticized departmental's policy and urged her to ask her dad to change it. Little did he know his body cam wasn't completely turned off and everything had been recorded. This would lead to a huge problem later, but he continued with the stop for the moment as if nothing had happened. Your window tent meter. Mm-hmm. Y'all trying to get it shut down, aren't you? Yep, need the window tent made. How's this thing work? You just stick it on. Just stick it on there. Oh, right. She says Mac pulled her up the other day and said it was good. It looks real dark to me. What if I don't want him to check my window tent? I don't like you. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why don't you like Carter? <laughs> okay. All right. Nothing. I'm going to nothing but love <laughs> you can roll this one up just a little bit. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> or that one. It might get his chin stuck in it. I don't know. 
Yeah. What's 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 the legal on this meter? What's the legal limit on the meter? It's supposed to be 35. I usually do 30. What is it? 12. Illegal? 12. <laughs> I, I think when Max stopped you, Max blind. <laughs> Dang. So, sit tight for me, okay? All right. All right. The officer issued her a ticket and once again criticized the policy, this time without attempting to mute the camera. There's your idea back. Except, I hate doing this, but our admin's on us real heavy for window tint. A lot of us don't agree with it, but... My mom got a ticket today, too. <laughs> <laughs> where, where? I was giving her so much shit for it. And now I'm like, uh, Graham? Oh, uh, well, Josh is... So... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, don't tell people that. <laughs> now, uh, court date set for February 26th, 8 a.m. Uh, you do have the option of having it taken off and get legal limit, and the judge will treat it as a warning and he'll dismiss it. I'm not even going to be in town that day. Uh, there's a number on the back okay. there you can call and have it rescheduled. Okay. Or you can just pay the ticket and leave the window tinted as it is, however it won't stop other people from stopping you. Wild. Okay. Alright. All right. You just sign there. Not admission guilt. Saying you receive a citation, you'll get taken care of, you'll appear in court. Alright. Any questions for me? No. Alright. Soon after this incident, Officer Phil was fired from the department. Senator Lundberg said that he regrets calling the chief after this incident, as he believes the officer should not have been fired. He mentioned that his wife and daughter were in tears, feeling responsible for what happened. Additionally, he has helped Phil find a lawyer to file a complaint against the department. While this cop may have been treated a little harshly, these pigs did the unthinkable with these auditors. Turn around. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For what? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. That's an old man. In September 2024, a couple of First Amendment auditors from Utah went to help a woman obtain some records from the Division of Child and Family Services. However, as soon as they stepped inside, they faced their first challenge. You want me to get Tara? I can get Tara. He snapped the fingers oh, at her. Oh, Tara Gill. I'd love to see her. She was... <laughs> Do you want me to get was... Tara? Yeah, Tara or Melanie if she's here. Why do, you, why do they need to know that I'm here? No. You don't need me. Oh, no, I don't need you. No, we're not turning the cameras off. No, I'm not getting out of here. Wow, lady, you're, you're, you're in your Ma'am, pu public it's job. it's our constitutional right as journalists uh, doing a story to film you. You're a public servant. I have the laws right here in my hand. So you can't do what you're doing. It's against the law. This is prior restraint. You're trying to censor us, and you can get a federal lawsuit, and so can this building. The official refused to give any service as she was being filmed. She called over her supervisor, who turned out to be an even bigger dummy. For the grandma team. Now, do you guys know and understand that we the people have the right to record our documents? So then why is it that she's having a big problem with it? And yeah, why are and she's a public servant? She expedited you because, guys you're, here. because you're causing a scene and it's No, we're not. Problem. You're causing the disturbance by your attitudes. Number one. Sir? Number two, when you put your hands up to my camera like the one lady did, and this lady walking away and putting her hand up, that's called prior restraint. That's violating our constitutional rights for free speech. Your constitutional right, I understand, is to film, right? But That's people, right. people choose not to be filmed by walking yeah. away they or, turn around or putting their hands When they're public servants, they don't have that pleasure. They, they, do. they no, do. No, they do not. They no. sure do. No one ever asked for you to be here anyways. Right, I'm just saying, if you have what you need, we're you going to talk yourself into this conversation. I can't help you beyond that. Then you guys are dismissed. Okay. Thanks. You may leave. Yeah. Is there anything else you, 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 you need? I just, I just dismiss I you. I want, I want the we question, question answered. Answer. Why are you guys so belligerent towards her? And he doesn't like the words I use. I, I don't think whatever words yeah, I want to. Yeah, we disagree with being belligerent. We've tried to do what we can do to right. help. We, we want to help you, but we're... we're, we're right, we're, we're, that's their standard yeah. answer, too. Yeah. The government employees not only refused to give service, but also ended up calling the cops, who soon went over to arrest the woman the auditors were accompanying 
claiming she had a warrant out for her. Hey, Don. Don. Hey, Don. So you're gonna be under arrest, okay? You got a warrant? Don't put your hands right I don't have a warrant. So we do. Well, so this is the harassment of you, Arden Police Department. Here, will you, you want to sit back a little bit, please? Will you Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Wait, why are why, why is she I, under why, arrest? Why do I have a warrant? Where's the warrant? No, I don't. Out of Arizona? No, no she doesn't. No, she, it got this. No, I got sponge. I don't. You guys are I can show you right now. I can show you the document right now on my phone. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. Okay, What's your well, name, sir? It's hard for me to show huh? it to you. Your name? Yeah. Officer B. Moore. Badge? Uh, 1050. Sir, your name and badge? You don't scare me with that dirty look. You don't scare me with that dirty look, bro. You don't. You don't. I also, I also. Yeah, no, oh no, he let go just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna have a fucking bruise. Chica tu madre. Okay, quit pushing me up. Let's go. Stop, I'm walking, stop it. The officer soon arrested the woman and took her away despite her claims that she had no warrant against her. The auditors continued to film and had no clue how things would get even worse from there. Stay back there on the sidewalk, away from this. Fuck you. Okay. Shut the up and don't stand in front of this camera again. I'm not fucking. So she's being arrested for. Fucking handcuffed like you did. Fuck you, Smiley. You little prick, I'll tell you what, you didn't have that badge. Take them shit. So, so she's searching him and he's pulling her. I can kick your ass too, and I'm 76 years of age, dipshit. You know what a green beret is? So this, yep. That's what I used so to this female it. officer is searching her, and the male officer is pulling her. Yeah, they have abused her all the way down, and she's trying to walk her own pace. And look at Officer Moore, he's a fucking dipshit. And Parker, you're a fucking arrogant little asshole. You're a prick. The kids in school, you are a kid. Go out work. The auditors were extremely furious, and a female cop explained that they had been trespassed from the public building. It was quite hilarious to hear this from a law enforcement officer. And the auditor took her to a law lesson. Well, I'm trying to explain to you guys that in the state of Utah, you don't need to trespass any, you don't need a reason to trespass anybody. From a private property. Okay. Not from a public property. property. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion we committed a crime, which you do not. So get the fuck out of my face. You're not, right not in your face. Right I don't want to hear you, nothing you, you got to say. Uh, committed disorderly so conduct. Oh, oh hell. Lower your voice. I can't be disorderly police officers. Okay. We have other victims here and other people in the victims. building. So keep it down, please. So you're really going to put your... You're a fucking sergeant. Are you shitting me? Hold on. So, guys, nice. just... Get out of my face. We don't need Let to escalate be. the situation. Okay? You guys already have. You fucking pulled her on a warrant. It's not even, uh, it's not even there. So have you checked on the warrant? Or are you guys gonna do it? Like it's been verified. Look, it's, look, it's been verified. One of the auditors, known by his YouTube channel Utah Defender, was simply exercising his constitutional rights when the officers decided to do the unthinkable. Go over there. Go over there. Turn around. Get your okay. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. For what? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. That's an old man. I'm relax. That's an old man. Relax. Don't worry. I'm not going to do this. Make sure he doesn't interfere. You don't need to twist my arm around like that. I do, because you're resisting. No, I wasn't. I am relaxed, dipshit. Can I have his keys? Can I have his keys so I, so I could drive home? Finish, okay? yeah. You fucking break my shit? Yeah, because you're sovereign citizens and you can do it, right? Feel like this, Jose. Yeah. Is this your ride or is this just no. a passerby? Just passerby. Look at, look at the way you guys are making him. I can speak like that all I want. Don one of the things somebody like this is a victim of disorderly conduct. I already explained that. No, I have a first member right to use it. Not one of the things other people in, in this environment. So. <laughs> The sergeant was completely mistaken, arresting someone for disorderly conduct who was simply exercising their right to free speech. Clearly, these officers' fragile egos were on full display. I know I know how to do my job without interference. Hey, I never sergeant. interfere. 
Egyptian. I need my pants pulled up. You're going to ignore me, aren't you? Sir, can I, can I get your name and badge number? Sure. Jose. Your name there? Can nice I get your name? Nine. Can you say your name? You know Hosa? And your badge? Will you, will you nine step six over nine. here so we're not yeah. in this lady's way? Turn around all violently. Here, Jose, get a picture of this. Okay? Since they're not going to pull my pants up. Wow. Well, you jumped up and you down awesome. to cause your pants to All you got to do is let go of my arm. You can pull them up. Can you put his pants up, please? The 76-year-old auditor was unafraid of arrest as he continued speaking his mind even when handcuffed. Soon, he was taken to the police cruiser as his friend kept recording the entire incident. Remember, she's trying to be a victim for what, I don't know what, but we'll get the body cameras. Hey, Walt. 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 Yeah. Okay, get you, all my stuff. It's over there on the ground. I will. I will. You have right to take my vehicle. Okay? Okay. Who do you want me to call anybody? Huh? You want me to call anybody? I would like my phone. I have a right to have it under the First Amendment. Okay? Yeah, you... Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we have seen how stupid mistakes can lead to career-ending consequences for those in law enforcement. These moments remind us that arrogance and incompetence will not go unnoticed, and that accountability is essential in maintaining the community's trust. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video right here.